G'day guys, I'm Quackerjack, and this is a 2023 KTM RC390. Now, we've been lucky enough to take this bike out for a few hours to ride, review, and have a bit of fun with. So before I show you that, let's have a look around the bike at some of its key features. For the engine, we have a 373cc single cylinder that is pumping out 43 horsepower at 9,000 RPM and 37 newton meters of torque at around eight and a half. For its suspension, up front we have a WP Apex 43mm inverted fork and a WP monoshock at the back, both of which are adjustable. As for brakes, at the front you have a 320mm disc with four piston caliper and at the rear a single 230mm disc with single piston floating caliper. It's got a wet weight of only 164 kilos sitting on the road and quite a high seat height of 824mm. Some other notable features that come with it are a 3-axis IMU, cornering ABS and traction control, adjustable levers, and that highly adjustable suspension. All right, let's do a quick exhaust check. Now, I think that this bike is vying for the title of top beginner sport bike, and it's got a lot of reasons why it could be considered the best. Now, before we get into the review, I just wanna take a second to thank our friends over at Team Moto Kawasaki Bowen Hills. They're the guys that lent me this bike. They're actually my local motorcycle dealership. I take my bike there to get looked after. And if you're in the market for a new or used bike, something just like this, make sure you go and have a look. They've got a huge range of motorcycles. But without further ado, let's get on the road and see how this thing goes. Alrighty, let's go. So here's the plan. We're taking it through the city, up to Mount Kutha, our usual sort of test area. Well, we'll give it a go through the twisties, see how it performs there. I'm really excited to give it a go because it is a more sort of racy bike than something like my own Ninja 400. I've actually just come off my own Ninja 400 getting onto this. Um, so the differences are going to be way more apparent. I've heard that this is a really, really fantastic bike to take through the corners. So I want to see if that's, that's true. In terms of around town puttering about, uh, right now, look, it is a little bit vibey, to be honest, um, especially through the foot pegs. In saying that though, the engine feels quite smooth, so it feels comfortable. Um, very, very smooth roll on with the power there, which is great. And um, it's not juddery off the line. Like when I do that on my Ninja 400, when I just feather the throttle, you know, it's a little bit like this. Don't have any of that here. Really, really smooth throttle, so I like that. KTM in the city. Okay, well, we just went over some quite hard bumps, and that was actually surprisingly smooth as well, so the suspension's doing a very good job. One thing I've noticed straight away as well is that the rear brake, nothing special, but the front one, oh, mighty as. I'm surprised at how comfortable this is on the road actually. I've been over a few you know, bumpier bits now, like just then, and this thing just eats it up. It's been great so far. This is a very, very narrow profile here on this bike. Uh, if you have a look down, you know, it's quite sleek, uh, thin. Once again, playing into that sort of race aesthetic. Um, you know, hopping off my own Ninja 400, that one's a little bit more bulbous around here. Um, whereas this one is straight and narrow. So, um, yeah. I do feel quite high up on the road as well. Um, you know, I I'm more on the bike than in it here. It is a hot day here in Brizzy. And there's the fan. <laughs> Looking at the temperature gauge though, it's handling it pretty well. Around about test, handles it like a champ. That's probably the nicest I've felt going around there, actually, to be honest. Um, my goodness. This bike feels good. <laughs> you know when you hop on a bike and you just get a good feeling? Well, that's what I'm having right now. I'm having a good feeling. I'm not, oh, it just glides through the corners. My goodness. All right, here we go. Let's give it a little, little taste. What do we got? Right. Oh man, yes! Oh, 
Okay, it's got the power if you want it. This thing feels incredible through the corners. It just glides through them so confidently. So unthreatening. It just tips. Yep. Just eats them up. Look at that. Oh, wow. If you're looking for a bike to hone your skills on, this one would be fantastic because the way that it leans over is incredible. It just never feels forced. It always feels confident. Oh yeah. Big long one. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> oh man, I just love how this thing handles. It just tips in so nicely. Yes. KTM says this bike is ready to race and I believe it. Woo! Now, in terms of the engine, how it feels, look, it is a vibey little motor. So you do get some vibrations mainly through your feet, um, but that's pretty much it. Obviously, look, the mirrors, you can see them wobbling away, but through my hands and through my bum, it's actually very, very, very smooth. But I get excited looking at a corner on this thing. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, wow! Good little bike. Goodness me! Yeah, it's got enough power for a beginner. And flick! Yes, baby! ATM, more like KTM. Far out. Oh, it just it just eats the corners. What a little stunner! I would love to have this bike on a track. KTM, it says that when you turn on the bike, ready to race. They are not lying with this high seat height, forward-facing attack position lightness of the bike and the suspension it's a winning combo I'm a fan I'm a big fan so what are my final thoughts on the 2023 KTM RC 390 well I think this thing definitely has a shot at being the best beginner sport bike on the market right now especially for the price you can get it at this particular one here is coming in at 5995 it's got 15,000 Ks on the clock, and the amount of value that you're getting here is kind of ridiculous. You've got adjustable suspension, you've got a great looking bike, you've got a bike that handles fantastically. This thing absolutely glided through the corners and I had no problems at all. I never felt like I was fighting the motorcycle. And that's what you want when you're a beginner. You want something that you can just hop on, it sort of encourages you to go, you can learn with the bike, and that's something you can absolutely do here. You've also got the confidence knowing that your front brake is definitely gonna stop you. The rear one's fine, but I was impressed with the front one. While the seat is a bit hard, it's actually quite comfortable. And look, this might just be because of how this suspension is set up, but going over some rougher roads as well, really, really smooth. I was genuinely impressed. How was the engine? Well, look, I think pretty much everything in this range is sort of sitting around the same area anyway. At lower RPMs, you are gonna feel some vibrations through the foot pegs um, and a little bit through your bum, but it's not too bad. And I think it gives the bike a bit of character. The throttle was actually surprisingly smooth off the takeoff as well, which is something that's appreciated in around town riding. The only thing I'm a little bit iffy about is the new front end. I think the older model looked a bit better, but with the amount of value that you're getting on the newer ones, <laughs> it's no competition. It's also a very, very easy bike to learn how to maneuver on. One other thing to note is that this is quite a high seat. I am six foot and you can see that I'm on my tippy toes. If I try, I might be able to just flat foot it, but if you're on the shorter side, you may have some issues here. Also, it is a bit tricky to get the footstool down, but you'll get it eventually. So yeah, look, overall, I think this is a great looking, great handling little bike. If you're considering a beginner sport bike, this one should definitely be on your list. This is a fantastic bike and I really, really enjoyed my time with it. But there you have it. Thanks for watching guys and thank you again to Team Moto Kawasaki and Bowen Hills for letting us have the bike. We'll be back again very soon with some more reviews, so keep tuned and we'll see you then.